Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this one, I know you guys are. Hit that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you missed the last one, we were chilling here in Snow Point City, pun intended, and we took on Candace in the Ice Type Gym and ultimately snagged our seventh gym badge. However, it was not without us getting kind of wrecked as we lost two more lives on our bug type squad. Luck unfortunately caught the bad end of a mirror coat from a low punny. What? And Sterling went down to a very powerful Metacham rock slide, which in hindsight, I probably should have never let it happen, but what are you gonna do? So we're chilling here at Snow Point. We've gotta go to the lake, I think, next. I'm pretty sure that's what the map's gonna tell me. I've got a bunch of honey trees to check. Yeah, it wants me to go to the lake. I've got a lot of honey trees to check, as you can see from this. So I'm gonna check all these honey trees, see if I got a hair across chilling in one of them, and then we're gonna head to the lake and see what's good. So, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Go pick up a t-shirt at teamshiny.com. Let's do it. Let's check these honey trees. All right, so I just got rock climb as I'm checking my honey trees and I gotta battle this guy. So, let's see how strong he is. He's a dragon tamer. Dragon tamer Patrick, what do you have, buddy? A gibble. That's it? <laughs> I was expecting him to buzz out like a, you know, like a salamence or something. It's a gibble. I think I can handle a gibble. Maybe not though, I don't know, what level are you? Level 39, yeah, I just exited this thing. We do have to start being a little bit more careful with Sterling though, after kind of what happened. But it looks like that Gibble's gonna go down. One shot, one opportunity. You're gonna capture it, you're gonna let it slip. Dragon Tamer Patrick, see you later, buddy. Oh, this must be the uh, Draco Meteor teacher here. That makes sense. And with 19 honey tree checks again, I still don't have a hair across. I don't know what to tell y'all, man. I've just had the absolute worst luck with these honey trees. I've probably got 100 checks in, man. I don't know what to tell you. Back to the lake we go. Ah, you're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon in the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But, ugh, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone headquarters. Oh, she's just gonna leave. Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is gonna do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to the headquarters in Veilstone. Now be excuse me. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Uxie. It was suffering. I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. All right, to Veilstone headquarters we go. I don't know if you do or not, but a storage key is saved with our guard in front of the headquarters. Oh, I need to get a storage key from one of the guards. There, would you look at those antenna? I don't know what they do, but there's some mighty impressive antenna. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took away my Clefairy. My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about a storage key. Yo, dog. I don't know if you realize this, but you just, you just dropped it on the ground, homie. My dude just said, here it is. I'm just gonna leave it on the floor. Okay, thanks, buddy. There it is, we opened it up, and we get a dust stone right out the gates, and it's time to infiltrate the headquarters. Who do you think you are, desecrating the halls of our headquarters? So I've just been uh, kind of destroying some of these grunts so far. Pretty easy stuff. What do you have? You've only got one Pokemon, and it's a Glameow. You would have thought that they'd evolve them by now, you know what I mean? They got these little ugly kitties, which by the way, Glameow is just such an ugly Pokemon, I feel like. Um, I should have no problems defeating you. Let's just bug buzz. I mean, it may have fake out, but bug buzz probably just one shots or comes darn close. Yep, see you later, kitty. On to the next one. We've got some more panels to go through. We gotta find a key and then we'll see what happens from there. Ooh, TM49 Skull. That's pretty dope. Not really for our bugs, but cool nonetheless. And TM36 Sludge Bomb. That's actually a really good pickup for us. I'll take that one every day. And the Galactic Key, that's what we're looking for. There we go. And TM21 Dazzling Gleam picked up here in the Veilstone headquarters. All right, here we go. I made it all the way through the headquarters and now we can open up the door and see what's going down as Cyrus is awaiting. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expect to see that trainer as a mere child. By the way, question of the day today is who was your favorite evil team leader? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna say it's your boy Guzma. 
I love how he hoards the Bugginium Z crystals. I thought that's really cool. And obviously, he's got some sick bug types like Kalisapod. And we need more bug type representation. I'd heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Uxi, Mesper, and Nazelf, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to go save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save you the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you're a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But yet you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully emo useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You are compelled to come here by such vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. All right, time to throw down against the Team Galactic Commander, Cyrus himself. I'm a little nervous about this fight. He's got three Mons. What do you got for me? He's gonna kick things off with a Murkrow. I don't actually remember what he has, but I think it's good against me. So I've got Burma dead out here. Um, I could set up Stealth Rock. What level are you? You are level 40, okay. I think I honestly just click Rock Blast. He's gonna Nightshade me, that's fine. Um, that's a good chunk. I'm just gonna throw the Rock Blast up. I would've liked to set up Stealth Rock, but if we hit three Rock Blasts here, we're good. Burmadad is the unluckiest Pokemon of all time though. You guys already know about this. So, of course, we do not actually hit all three Rock Blasts that we need. Here comes the Taunt anyway, so I wasn't gonna set up a Stealth Rock regardless, even if my heart really desired. But Burmadad does finish the deal. But you know, I mean, she gets a crit. Again, talk about the unluckiest Pokemon of all time, Bermadette here. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. What do you got next? I'm nervous. What do you have for me? Here comes a Golbat. Okay. Um, I wish I set up Stealth Rocks now, but I guess we just go for the Rock Blast again. Here comes an Air Cutter. Should be able to live. Easy peasy. And here comes a Rock Blast. Will Bermadette hit more than... I need a three hitter here. There's a crit. Okay, so we need probably like a four hitter then. Good job, girly. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Bermadette! She does it! Who would have thunk it? Go on, girl. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. All right, we took down two of his team members here. My last Pokemon. It's a Sneasel. Okay. I can deal with that. I actually have a really good Sneasel answer. Um, we have we have Redemption. Redemption's like, let me at him! Let me at him! Redemption's never lost a fight before. Get out of here, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hone Claws. Oh, you just died a bullet punch. You just you just go down, homie. You're going down. We click in bullet punch. Super fast. <laughs> See you later, Sneasel. Uh, I knew you could do it. Yeah, I got a crit too. Oh, baby. Didn't even see, uh, didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. And Cyrus goes down very easily. Interesting and quite curious. There's no way that's his final form though. I see you are indeed strong and the base of your power is your compassion towards Pokemon. How wasteful, such emotions are but mere illusions, and like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That's why I have abandoned all emotions and use useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. And he's gonna hook us up with a Master Ball. That is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfail, how are you gonna give it to me? Like, you're you're the evil boss trying to take over the world and you're just like, here's a Master Ball, kid. I'm off to Mount Coronet. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go save the little uh, little lake trio here. Where are y'all at, Pixies? Look at all these cool little things going on here. Oh, here they are. Oh, do I have to battle you? I should probably heal just in case. You came all the way here to just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We Team Galactic take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for you insulting me at the lake. All right, another Team Galactic commander. We'll see if you're any uh, any good, because your boss was not very good, Saturn. I'm going to be real with you. Kadabra. 
Okay. Well, I no longer have Fissure. Or, I mean, I no longer have Bug Bite on Bermadette. Although, I would think that a Bulldoze would still do a decent chunk. Might not be a terrible idea to Stealth Rock, though. I'm gonna Stealth Rock. Reflect, okay. Yeah, but I can Stealth Rock up and then... I can YOLO a Fissure just for the LOLs. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm YOLOing a Fissure. Psychic, all right, let's see how much this does. Mm, solid chunk. We're gonna hit a fissure though. Burma dead! It's the first fissure! It ever clicks! Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Go on, Burma dead! The unluckiest Pokemon of all time! It's a 30% fissure. Here comes a Bronzor. You know this thing's gonna have levitate, so let's not even bother. Um we can go lock to Shadow Ball. I'm gonna get payback to the face. This shouldn't do too much though. Yeah, I mean, that does nothing. Bro, it's a Bronzor, man. Shadow Ball, I think this probably one shots. Should do a good chunk either way. Ooh, he actually lived it, okay. No more mirror coats, Confuse Ray. Of course, I gotta deal with the Confuse Ray. Very annoying, but I can navigate. Let's see here. Um, we're gonna go for another Shadow Ball and not hit ourselves with the Lucky Duckies. Because luck is the luckiest Pokemon of all time. Ayo. Leading the team to victory here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, what do you got last? What's your last Mon? The Reflect's gone as well, and it's a Toxicroak. Okay. I can work with that. I will say, if this thing gunk shots, it's going to do a lot. But I think we just Air Slash. Oh, I'm confused. This is a bad play. This is a really bad play. This is a very bad play. Toxic, okay, we're fine. If it gunk shot, it may have knocked me out. Yeah, I mean, all right, we're gonna switch out. I think the play here is we just go redemption and we just bullet punch, probably. Maybe two bullet punches, maybe one, probably two. But I don't see redemption losing this fight here. He's gonna thief. Probably steal my iron plate. Yeah. So I'll definitely need two bullet punches, but I can't imagine Toxicroak can do that much to me. He's not gonna have a fire move, I don't think. And if he has a fighting move, it's not gonna do that much. Brick break, yeah, this isn't gonna do that much. Redemption's just like super bulky. So the bullet punch is gonna come off here and that's gonna finish off the Toxicroak. And we beat another uh, commander. Redemption once again showing why it is the best bug type. No doubt about it. What makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on the machine to set them free. All right, well, we might as well. Be free, little Pokemon. And they gone, see you later. Our boss crafted a red chain from the crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. But that's all I know, who knows what he's planning to do up there. All right, well, we must head to Mount Coronet now to stop the evil wrongdoings. So this trainer actually is super helpful. They tell you that you can't get to the top of Mount Coronet from where I came. So thank you for being there because I would have been lost otherwise. TM80 Rock Slide here in Mount Coronet, not too shabby. Dude, I gotta be real, the music on Mount Coronet is insane right now. This remix is phenomenal. Okay, I've hiked all the way through Mount Coronet and I think I finally made it to the top and I have indeed. My goodness, <laughs> it has been a journey to get a journey to get here, man. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna sugarcoat it. It was a lot of grunts. Can you guys get out of my way? Oh, you're gonna battle me, as if I haven't battled enough grunts. I'm telling you guys, I battled so many grunts. It's crazy how many they have here. They're just littered all over the place. It's just like left you yeah, everywhere you look. There's a grunt. Every corner you turn, a grunt. And they they're all you know they get one shot. I mean basically. I've just been power jumping <laughs> and attack ordering my way through the entirety here. I mean, um, I think in this situation, we probably, I'll attack order the Stunky and I will air slash the dust ox. Let's see how that goes. I missed, luck. You're supposed to be luckier than this. What are you doing? Well, we got rid of one thing. I don't think I was one shot in the dust ox anyway though. So now I gotta deal with that. Um, let's see here. Toxic. Maybe Beyonce will shake it off. All the single ladies 
Show him who's the boss. Shake it off. That's all right, I can heal it after the battle. Um, and a Glameow. I mean, yeah, these grunts, they're so bad. They're so bad. All right, uh, we're gonna air slash the dust ox and air slash the dust ox and not miss. Oh my God, I double into him and he protects. He protects both attacks. The struggle is so real. The struggle is so real. What's this Glameow gonna do? Aerial Ace or something? Aerial Ace? Oh no. Whatever will it do? All right, now the poison's starting to add up here. All right, we're gonna do this again. Cause it's not gonna double protect, right? Oh my God. I really thought, <laughs> I can't believe it double protected. It almost got it. Oh man. I guess you shoot 100% of the shots you don't take. I mean, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Don't mind me. All right, what else you got? What's your last? What is your last Pokemans? Show it to me. What do you got? It's a Krogunk. Hot diggity dog. I am gonna go out on a limb and say that this Krogunk is gonna wish it never was alive. Because Luck is about to blow it back with his air slash. He's not gonna miss either. There it is. Let him know, little moth. Goodbye, Krogunk. See you later, buddy. And Motham and the Queen Bee have taken down the Grunts. And that will hopefully be the last Grunts I have to face ever in this game for the Bug Lock. I think that that might be the end of the Grunts forever. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. And I actually think this is a great spot for us to wrap up this episode. I think this is a pretty good spot. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is gonna actually be the spot where we wrap up. Let me know your favorite evil team leader in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're throwing down at the top of the spear pillar on the next episode, so get excited for it. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock. Peace.